factored into course fees. If a student wants to use a personal iPad, they will be able to do that as well. The school has about 3,500 full-time students. A teacher in Sturgis struggles to find the words when our camera crew caught her off guard. WCBI's Renee Skinner has our Educator of the Week. Hey everyone, Renee Skinner here. Little did I know, my big mouth blew my cover. And I hear she's a great student interventionist. Well, we're about to intervene in her class right now. Let's go. I was really surprised. I didn't expect that. I heard someone saying something about an intervention. I was like, what are they talking about? <laughs> student interventionist Melanie Cade overheard me in the hallway, but we decided to intervene anyway. Well, more like interrupt. You are the WCBI educator of the week. Congratulations! Thank you. I did not expect that. I, I was really caught off guard, but it's, it's a pleasant surprise. This wasn't a visit she was used to. At West Elementary School in Sturgis, usually kids come to see Mrs. Cade when they are struggling in some area. Every child that comes in has a certain skill or maybe a subject that they're weaker in. Um, so what we do is we try to intervene and catch that child up and get them back to their appropriate grade level where they need to be. One student is working on adding and subtracting. Six. All right, six and eight. And with just a little push from Mrs. Cade, 14. There you go. She's got the answer. And when students get all of the answers right, a trip to the yellow cabinet. Well, we just have treasure boxes, um, just little trinkets of, you know, motivation. Motivation is a huge factor in child success. Mm -hmm. um, if they're not feeling successful, they're not going to want to do it. And so they're going to be reluctant to participate in class. They're going to be reluctant to raise their hand, to actually have the confidence to call out answers and to participate. That often includes reading out loud. Mrs. Cade says her job is to break down their work into small instructional pieces and put it all together for them to understand. Similar to pronouncing words. You take each letter, sound it out, or vowel, n, ow, sound it, put it together now, one at a time. N, ow. Whether it's reading flashcards, adding and subtracting, or even comprehension, Mrs. Cade says she wants each child to know a bad grade can always get better, no matter the letter. I want them to be you know, strong students, independent learners, and that's just what we really work on. While they work on that, I'll be working on a quieter entrance. Yay! In Sturgis, I'm Renee Skinner, WCBI News.